Hey guys, this is going to be an unboxing of my new Rhino Ramps. As you can see uh, from the tags, this is brand new. I just got it. Um, I just took off the tags. Um, there is one that's rated for 1,200 pounds and another one that's rated for 1,600 pounds. Uh, this is a 1,600 pound version. Um, when I was getting the ramps, I was debating on whether to get the metal ramps or the plastic ones. Uh, the conventional thought is that metal is harder than plastic. Um, so, but depending on the design, um, sometimes plastic is actually harder than metal. Um, metal is malleable, uh, while plastic is brittle, oftentimes, depending on what type of plastic. Um, as you can see, they made it in a honeycomb design, so hopefully it'll stand up to the test. And they have the rubber stamp right here to prevent the uh, ramp from sliding. Uh, I've read in the forums that uh, they had a hard time uh, getting the cars onto the ramps because uh, they would often find the ramps actually slide on the flat surface. Um, do not exceed the rated capacity of 4,000 pounds each, 8,000 pounds per pair. Uh, 1,600 pounds gross weight of the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, they are stackable. And the instructions are right here on the side. And I will actually list the instructions on the actual video. Um, but it's basically more like uh, common sense, I think. And they are pretty light compared to what it's supposed to do, so. Maneuver your car toward the workspace, leaving plenty of room for the ramps in front of the vehicle. Slide the ramp towards your tire, uh, making the ramp flush with the tire. You really want to slide the ramp in, on, push it in on the tire. Go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Once complete, move toward the rear of your vehicle and crouch down going eye level with the bumper and check to see if the ramps are aligned. As you can see in this example, if the ramp is too far inside, you won't see the ramp. And if it's too far outside, you'll see a bulge of the ramps. Uh, a perfect alignment is to see a slight edge of the ramps. Once you're happy with the alignment, go ahead and start your vehicle and slowly climb up the ramp uh, using a steady acceleration. When your tires are on top of the ramp, you'll feel your car start to level off. Put your car in park and apply your emergency handbrake. Go ahead and inspect your tires to see if they are aligned on center with the ramps. If you're happy with the tires placement, uh, go ahead and chalk up your rear tires.
Here I'm using two ordinary red bricks to chalk up my rear tires. I'm trying my ramps on a different surface, asphalt, to see if they actually slide as the forms had mentioned. Personally, I did not have any trouble with the ramp sliding. Here I'm trying the ramps with a different vehicle. Again, I had no problems with using the ramps. My assessment of the Rhino ramp is that it does what it's intended to do. Um, I've actually had no problems with it sliding across the surface as some of the people in the forums have mentioned. Um, if it does slide across the surface, it's probably due to improper use. Uh, you're supposed to actually maneuver your car toward where you want to place the ramps and then slide the ramps onto the tires rather than placing the ramps first and then maneuvering your car toward where the ramps are. Um, if you do that, you're gonna probably solve most of your sliding problems uh, because once the tires and the ramps are flush with each other, um, the tires shouldn't really push the ramps unless um, you do a real hard acceleration. Because my car is coming to the 120,000 mile range, um, I've actually had to do a lot of preventative maintenance. And during that time, I've actually used the Rhino ramps for about two and a half weeks. Uh, for two days, I've actually left the car on top of the ramps. Um, during that time, I've actually did an oil change, changed the spark plugs, replaced the AC condenser, um, cleaned the ETM. Um, did a flush, cool and flush. Um, so those videos I'm gonna post up once I've actually had the time to edit them. And the ramps actually helped out a lot because it does give you an eight inch clearance from the bottom of the car. So I'm actually gonna give the ramps a thumbs up. Now it's turned to